Hey, what's going on, ComicWild.com? This is Comics on TV. My name is Mike. And I'm Big Rick, and we're here to uh, talk about the final episode of S.H.I.E.L.D., the season finale, called S.O.S. Two hours long, tons going on. Whoa. Yeah, there was a lot going on in this episode, <laughs> and, it, and it really seemed like there was too much in some regards. Yeah, it, it seemed like uh, they could have spread it out two weeks, and I would have could have digested it more. Right. But, hey, let's get into it. Uh, yeah, uh, everything that happened at the meeting last week with the Inhumans and S.H.I.E.L.D. did not work out. Yeah. Sky's mom. Yeah, I, Sky's mom is, is twisted up a little bit. She's, she's got a lot going on, mm -hmm. and, and you, I, I, I was discussing this with Rick off camera, but I'll, I'll speak it with you guys. It seemed like it, it was very jarring to me how quickly she just, I know she was abused by people in Hydra, and it used to be S.H.I.E.L.D. to her, but the fact that she's just so evil so quickly just right. kind of was off putting Well, me. yeah, she definitely flipped the script. But you put it in perspective for me, which I thought was nice. Well, when, you, when uh, her husband, who becomes Hyde later on in the episode, which is pretty cool, he basically tells his daughter that after she got you know, mutilated and was put back together. She was a changed person. Basically, she didn't come back with the same heart that he had loved and that it was just a dark heart, and that's why she had to feed because you find out what another one of her powers is. Oh, yeah. Where she touches, she's she like a vampire. She literally feeds off of another human yeah, being. Yeah, she's literally a vampire where she sucks the life force from someone else to heal her own wounds, and which is crazy. Yeah, it's kind of a la, uh, what's her name, the Black Queen from uh, Hellfire Club. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Which is a mutant, but... Well, and a great comic book. Yeah. <laughs> um... And then, so you're still in uh, their little hideaway. Yeah. And uh, they take over a couple of the Quinjets and to make it look again like yeah. S.H.I.E.L.D. is attacking it, the Inhumans. It seemed just so preconceived. Right. Like, like she had it planned that she was going to have, you know, uh, God, I always forget his name, the, the blind uh, Oh, the, to um, the blind transporter. Starts with a B, right? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. We know who he is. Yeah. But, you know, he's already there moving the ship, right. making it look like S.H.I.E.L.D.'s against them. Mm -hmm. Sky, her allegiance is questioned back and forth, back right. and forth. She had a great flight scene with, with May. May. Yeah. It was excellent to see just both of them going back and forth. But May, I'm sorry, you have a certain set of skills and you're amazing. Right. But you cannot go toe to toe with someone like that. Yeah, her. with an enhanced. You can't. You know, when she hits her with the quake ability. Yeah. Done. Yeah, She's done. asleep. She's like, asleep. GTS. It's basically, you see yeah. all this training that May gave her. In use, which is really cool, and then she's like, "All right, May, I'm, I can't play right now." Boom, and it's yeah. done. Yeah, we're done playing. Yeah, it's crazy how strong she's become. Yeah, crazy how strong she's become. It's crazy how like, as I said, this episode takes you in many, many directions. We right. have Mockingbird on her own direction with with Ward, with Ward. and uh, um, it's a vengeance thing. And the, it's, the it's mask girl, a, um, Agent Thirty Three, Agent Thirty Three. But it's all about vengeance. It really is, and. Uh, because apparently Ward is trying to give closure to his girlfriend now mm -hmm. uh, in Agent 33, and Mockingbird is going to have none of that. And in that particular aspect of the storyline of, of the episode last night, I felt that the guy who did the choreography for oh, Daredevil yeah, yeah. Just made an appearance and said, all right, if you guys want to do a real good hallway fight scene, <laughs> let me show you how it's done. And because that fight scene between Ward and uh, Mocking, Mockingbird and Agent 33 was awesome. Yes. I mean, the, the action all around was fantastic. Um, Mac is a very great character to me. He's been my one of my favorites this whole yeah. entire season. Um, I like how... Uh, essentially, to me, he is the truest believer of Shield. Right, and not, and not just sh as Shield, but what Shield is was meant for, yeah. as to protect the people, protect the Earth, and uh, he sees that the alien threat because of his influence from the Kree technology in previous episodes, where he became that kind of juggernaut jo zombie guy. He um, he has a lot of distrust, and in that, he gains a lot of trust through Coulson because Coulson puts them in charge of all alien tech after mm -hmm. after this which yeah, is really cool yeah fantastic because there's trust there now mm -hmm. and that was a great thing that came out of this episode that I really enjoyed uh, Mr. Hyde Kyle McLaughlin uh, <laughs> amazing actor chewing scenery every every time mm -hmm. he's on the, every right. time he's there but as in every S.H.I.E.L.D. episode probably since the first 
it revolves around Sky and Sky's relationships. Mm. And now it's a mother versus father. You think she's going to have the nurturing mother. Instead, he's... Yeah, the dad is really... Every, his entire purpose of the entire... Since, since See, you found him, has been, I want to get my family back together. Yeah. Everything I do is for my family. I love my child. I love my wife. But he now is taking on the realization that his wife may not be the wife he had before, which he, again, like I said, tells Sky. So he fought for his daughter. And he fought for his daughter. And, and it, but. he proved it. He proved it. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Uh, he had to... He had to handle business with his ex. I'm not going to yeah. spoil it for you, but he had to handle business. Yeah, it, it was it was interesting. Shocking deaths. Here's the death tolls. Are you ready? Yeah, shoot him. <laughs> Reyna, bye-bye. Bye, Reyna. You were interesting. Um, <laughs> Sky's mom. Yeah, uh, our transporter inhuman. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. That's bye, the bye. inhumans. Like three inhumans right away. Just right. Gone. Um, the biggest shocker to me... Is the questionable death. The questionable death. Is it death? Who knows? Right. Pretty much at the end of this episode, we get a really big setup for next season, which is the Cree stone that we've been looking at, this mountainous stone. The morphine stone, whatever it After is. After Fitz and Simmons finally agree to go on a date, and yeah. I'm sitting there going, yeah. Uh, Fitz walks away, and the stone comes to life in a liquid form and just consumes Simmons, a la, you know, Star Trek, the next generation, Tasha Yar being taken right. out. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's a great analogy. Like great me. analogy. <laughs> I've always, I actually tweeted out last night, like, oh no, the blob. <laughs> it's like, ah. But it turned right back into a stone. So where's Simmons? What's going to happen? Is right. she going to come out of the stone with powers? Is she going to come out of the stone? Is she in a negative verse or something yeah, like that? Who knows? I mean, we'll what? find out. But I have a question is, you keep calling it a stone. Mm -hmm. Is it one of the Infinity Stones? Could it be? Could it be a? Why are they digit? all on Earth? Yeah, on why Rick. are all? Yeah, I said that earlier. Why are all the Infinity Stones somehow on Earth or Midgard, as you put it? Yes, it's crazy. Midgard, of course. Um, so a big cliffhanger at the end there. It, it makes my brain quite thaw. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know all the all the flies. But um, it it was a great episode. Everything in it definitely was left at a cliffhanger point. I'd say watch it. It's two yeah. hours. I have to watch it again because I think I have to digest yeah. it. More. Yeah, I do too because I'm, I'm sure there were other uh, Easter eggs that I missed. Oh, it was littered with them. Yeah. And, littered. and I was, watch I was wa watching it and Twitter at the same time because I like to be active twi uh, tweeting out with uh, – because when you watch an episode when it's being aired on the East Coast, all the actors – um, Clark Gregg, yeah. uh, Chloe, Ming, they're all on there blasting out yeah. their thoughts and asking opinions. And it's really a lot of fun interaction in that aspect, too. So if you're not on Twitter, get on Twitter and follow us at The Real Comic Wow so you can also be a part I of this I guess awesomeness. my final note on this one is there's the Phase 2 thing that's been going on since the start. And it reared its head this episode. You know, it's a great nod to our favorite franchise, Star, Star Wars. Wars. So, honestly, we love, I love this season. Yes. Please, comment at the bottom, tell us what you think. Yeah, find us on uh, Facebook and give us a like. Also go to Twitter at The Real Comic Wow, and we're also on Instagram at the same address, The Real Comic Wow. We have what's uh, that Snapchat thing? Yes, we uh, do. Called uh, Comic Wow Guys? Yeah, that. Yeah. Also go to YouTube and Vimeo. Look at our videos there. Some are in HD. Well, wait a minute. All are, All in, are HD. in HD. Because we don't know how to just do poor quality. Right. But please tell us what you think. And then go to comicwow.com, start a profile, join the community. We have a blast there. Show us what your fandom is because we, we love to see it all. See you on comicwow.com. Thanks, guys. Hey, it's your good buddy Jump Street with a way for you to win Season 1 Declassified of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. All you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment below one of our reviews. And that gets you uh, entered to win. So we look forward to seeing you on ComicWild.com. Remember, subscribe, comment, win. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment below on uh, uh, our stuff with whatever. Oh, you can win this book. Oh, Do you like that? Hard. Try winning this yeah, book. Like this book is heavy. Okay, go. All right. What else am I trying to do? What do I need to say?